Jinalang Valeni 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 to my existing subscribers and my notification gang gang. We are back with another video and thank you so much for your continuous support. And if you're new on my channel, because today we got Chelete, that Chankuras, babes, shame you've been missing out. But yes, um, today's video, I'm actually going to talk about one of my side hustles, which is um, online teaching. Please, I've been procrastinating for the longest time to actually talk about this. Not actually procrastinating, but sort of like delaying because I feel like when, when you start talking about money, people think you have money and then people start asking you for money. Please, guys, don't be black like that. Please, as a brief talk. All right, so let's get right into today's video. Alrighty, so let's get into it. So as a student, you know that, guys, it's tough in the streets. Um, some of my, like some of us, like some of our parents, cannot afford to give us money or even ask for money whenever we want. So you had to be innovative. So one of the things that I actually used to do was to promote, you know, yogurt, milk, cool drink, uh, and other things as well. But yeah, I also used to sell uh, makeup on campus, and I used to sell lipsticks and perfumes as well. All right, another side gig that I also used to do while I was a student, um, I used to work at the computer center where I'd always sit there and help students you know with computer stuff some of them will know how to do like maybe a graph on Microsoft and I'll help them some of them won't be able to like certain things like little small things right so that we are all here at the end of the day to help each other but you know like don't be embarrassed to ask for help when you don't know how to do something in university. Okay, fast forward to I think about my third year. Uh, my friends actually started with online teaching before me, and yo, they made a lot of money. But like, wow. Um, so I also they also introduced it to me. Uh, we started off working night shift because. Um, when you work with, uh, actually, when you teach uh, Chinese students, um, there's actually an eight hour difference. So, uh, children, normally you'll teach them like after school, so it will be like during the day. So, if you work night shift, you actually used to get a lot of money. So, night shift is between 12 and 6 a.m. So, yes, Yo, you'd always be tired, but it was worth it okay it was definitely worth it because i used to make a considerable amount of money and um you know i'd, I'd be able to pay rent and things like that in this video i'm actually going to teach you or tell you not teach but tell you how you can get started with online english teaching or tutoring all right, number one, you need to have a neutral accent. Um, you need to be able to speak English. They prefer people that speak like natives, but if you have a neutral accent and if people are able to understand what you're saying, you're good to go. All right, some companies, they do require you to have a bachelor's degree. Some, um, if you tell them that you're still studying towards your bachelor's degree, you're good to go, it's all good. Um, some companies, they do allow you to teach uh, students even with a diploma if you do have a diploma or um, a higher any other higher education uh, certificate all right it doesn't matter which field you're in but now things have become a little bit stricter as um, more people have started joining in and more and more teachers have actually st uh, started joining in but they do require you to have a bachelor's degree there are companies that don't require you to have a bachelor's degree because um you'll actually be teaching people conversations so you'll just be having conversations with people you know correcting them here and there correcting their grammar correcting their pronunciation and all of that all right so that settles you know like a few of the requirements um, another requirement could be um, stable internet. Okay, you need fast, stable internet. Um, if you are going to have um, video classes, you do need fast, stable internet. Okay, no inter inter uh, interruptions or anything like that. Wi Fi does not cut it um, with uh, video lessons, but you can use Wi Fi for also audio. Oh, lessons. guys, I just finished teaching there about <laughs> six classes and I'm so tired. But yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, um, yes. All right, yes. So you can get away with teaching uh, using your Wi-Fi. 
all right with audio lessons all right let's get back i have i had to write all of this down because sometimes you know sometimes when you're shooting a video you forget certain things so i had to write it down okay so don't mind me when i'm looking down that means i'm just reading um okay i mentioned education um for south africans we've been learning english since kindergarten uh crutch grade one so like you have 12 years experience of teaching english so and south africa obviously we do speak english um english is one of the predominant languages that we speak within our country and that's why certain countries also consider us all right and i'd actually like to say thank you to everyone that's abroad and that has brought awareness so that we can all be able to get into this market and make money all right because at the end of the day um in order for us to be recognized there has to be someone out there that actually speaks positively about us and says hey you know uh, yeah you can employ us and stuff like so thank you guys um uh, for being such a great representative of south africa all right let's get into the net bits like the technical stuff i am not uh, that much of a tech geek but i do like gadgets and technology and stuff i do learn about it as well so a uh, one thing please don't judge me and my headsets but these are the headsets that you will need to use one that has a microphone it doesn't have a lot of interferences as the one that that's here because it can ha it can cause static and it can cause interference and some form of irritation as well my one has a muting i can mute a muting function and all of that but then the most important part is to have a usb whoopsie daisies um it needs to have a usb all right um i think it blocks out all of the noise in the background or it blocks it out to a certain degree all right um you also need to have a good um hd good quality hd webcam for your videos as you can see me right now i'm clear All right, you need a ring light especially for your evening classes if you're teaching like I mentioned between 12 and 6 a.m. You need natural lighting if your room has natural lighting. Kudos babes, you can definitely use that. All right. Um what else did I mention here? Uh yeah, so basically that's more or less what you need for video classes. For audio classes, all you need literally is a headset, your um your mouse um obviously you'll be using their platform so you can't keep you know it's going to be a little bit exhausting so having a mouse is actually quite convenient um laptops okay i made a list here uh you need an i3 or i5 or i7 um you need a high quality ram okay to effectively do the job obviously there are certain platforms um that require a certain processor and things like that so minimum 4 gigabyte ram um windows it needs you need to have like the latest windows um installed on your laptop windows 10 uh the latest um os uh system i'm not really familiar with apple and mac and all of that i don't have i don't own a macbook all right so yes if you have a macbook kudos you'll Obviously with the latest MacBooks I am aware that they don't have like USB adapters so you'll need to buy an external adapter. Hey Askis, you guys buy everything. I I like <laughs> I but anyway. All right. Um so yes, in terms of your laptop, it will be more compatible with most uh teaching software. So that's why you need it, okay? And um, the faster the laptop, the better. All right. Uh classes can also be conducted via Skype and uh using uh, their own apps or websites. Some schools like Palfish, um they do use an application and Cambly, they do use an application that you can use. So you can literally just teach from your phone, from using your phone. All right. So in that case that means oh my god. All right. In that case that means you can literally use your headsets and you can teach from everywhere. That's why I mentioned audio classes. I love audio classes because I can teach from anywhere. Um I have taught at restaurants if maybe it's like a quiet chill restaurant I've taught there. I've taught outside at a park like sometimes some of my students if they want to sh to see like where I am I'll just switch on my video and then they can see like where I am and things like and it gets so exciting to actually learn about where they are and sharing about where they are where they come from you know the different cultures and all of that. So that's something that I love about online English. teaching all right um 
yes headsets with a sub bar sound quality um yes i did mention that a mouse um, in terms of network you need a 3g and 4g network to provide enough bandwidth okay obviously video classes they they use more bandwidth so with audio classes not that bad um, laptops that I can suggest Dell, Acer, um, HP, Mac, Asus, and Lenovo. All right, now officially getting started, right? Uh, you need a TEFL certificate. Um, I will leave a link down below for the free TEFL certificate that you can use. I've used that for the past four years. I haven't had any other issues, but now companies, uh, they want... Um, they want other certificates where you need to pay for because they have certain different uh, courses and modules that they cover lesson planning all right so actually getting started now let's talk about actually getting started i just made a common mistake that some people actually use but it confuses a lot of people from other different countries don't say nah when you're teaching but that's another story for another so day. things that you will definitely need are uh, when you're teaching children you need to have like um, little uh, things like toys to keep entertaining them this is something that I use when teaching kids and I just put it on oh my god <laughs> and I just put it on does it even still work oh yes it does as you can see it always keeps them you know entertained and it actually just draws attention to me and it and always keeps them so excited and um they're always curious to see uh what you're doing like what you're busy with all right so this is for the little young ones between the ages of three and ten i'll definitely use this all right you do need a whiteboard i have a whiteboard here that has all the abcs and all of the animals here um, you need to make, I make my own flashcards as well. So this is to, to show same, different and all of that. And I make my own using uh, different papers. Uh, you can cut out and print certain, um, oops, there we go. You can cut out and print um, certain things also from the internet. So it's not really a big deal. Okay, so you don't need to rob to break the bank. You don't need to break the bank all right to to teach online and you can even cut out things from the magazine like i use like you you don't know you will see as you go along um please when you teach children you need to be quite animated you need to be excited you know, oh you know you always need to have so much energy because children have a short concentration span so you always need to have them right there all right with adults you don't really need to like you don't need it. okay that's good well done very good no you don't need to do all of that honestly with adults like oh okay good it's like having a conversation with another adult okay so that's why i like i like transitioning i like teaching i don't mind teaching children or even adults but uh, most of the time i've seen myself going towards teaching adults um so yes uh, those are certain props that you'll need. You'll need um, a dry um, erase board, as I just showed you now. Mine has two sides, and then this side as well. Oh, that light <laughs> just went off. Um, you need flashcards, like I showed you now. ABCs, numbers, you know, fruits, and all of those things. Puppet, a puppet is entirely optional. If you can use a puppet saying, I'm my daughter, my name is whatever, you can do that. Like, it's entirely up to you. Um, you have your own reward system. Like, for instance, um, you can create um, like a board of um, little stars and every time they get something correct, you know, they get so excited when they see that. Or having like a little tree and then you put apples and oh, that is so sweet. You should see them, you should see their little faces. They get so excited whenever they see you, you know, putting all, oh, they get something right. Okay, but always be animated and always be, try your utmost best to be present and to be happy. You know, some kids are really smart, like they love to have conversation and they'll ask you where you're from, you know, what do you do what do you like and things like try to 
treat children like human beings not like a b c no please don't do that okay children are also human and they also some of them they are very articulate they can tell you what they like what they don't like so i give my students you know the freedom to tell me if they like uh, maybe the story that they're reading or not some of them will be like ah teacher i don't want to 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 read the story today it's so boring and especially when we talk about covid ah teacher i don't want to read more about covid i think i've read it's depressing me now can you read maybe the gingerbread man or something like that okay so be able to uh, be dynamic you should be a very dynamic person because different students definitely require different things all right so here are tips and tricks and things that i learned along the way and that have actually helped me a lot okay try to teach for companies that provide um lessons okay or, or provide um material for you to to teach with okay um creating your own and then oh oh my god and trying to figure out what your students need and all of that that is really tiring okay so try to get companies that uh, provide teaching material so that all you need to do is just prepare for the lesson and you can just uh, come up with props and say okay fine uh 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 apple and and all of those things okay um please when you start expect to earn less okay um you start with three dollars three dollars is actually very very low um please reject three dollars at least like 10 <laughs> like per hour please like you're we're having so much uh so many problems with um you know certain teachers they accept as low as three dollars but you know what you accept what you can um i know it's really tough right now we are going through a pandemic and i know that we all need to make money hence that's why i also decided to create this video but yes all right you expect to start really really low but the the more you get up there you can actually demand and say hey not demand but negotiate okay you can actually negotiate for more money all right um yes they do pay in dollars um, you'll have classes of one-on-ones or even up to four students in a class, even up to 30 plus. I have taught one-on-ones, four classes, 30 people in a class as well. All right, so you need to be able to manage those people as well. I need to be able to give everyone a chance to speak, etc., etc. All right. Um, you need to ask your companies if they pay you for uh, students not pitching up or if they pay you half. All right. Uh, sorry about that. There was an interference. There's some strange sound. I, I, guys, it's beyond my control, really, uh, that keeps coming up. But yes, as I was saying... Okay. So as I was saying, um, in terms of students not pitching up, you need to negotiate prior to time, okay? You need to find out... You need to read your contracts very clearly and you need to understand what you're getting yourself into. All right, so you need to understand if the company is going to pay you for your for the empty classes. Let's say if you have a 25-minute class, a 30-minute class, or 40 or 50 or 55-minute class. Okay, so some companies do pay you half of the time, so you'll be in the class for like half the time. And then some schools will literally just pay you for the rest of the for the rest of the time that you've actually spent waiting for uh, the students. So some some schools, whew, okay, some schools do require you to wait until the student gets there, until the time is literally lapses or um, until the end of the class. Okay, but some schools will say, okay, if maybe it's a 25-minute class, you'll just need to wait for them for like 12.5 uh, minutes. All right. Uh, but you need to find out if they're going to be paying you or not so that if a student, if you need to wait for them for 10 minutes, if they're not there 10 minutes, that's your time, babes. Get out, especially if they're not paying you for it. No, I don't work for free. I'm sorry. That that does not, sorry, sorry, that does not work here. Okay. 
Um, if it's an empty class, some schools will say you wait for a student for five, ten minutes, get out because they don't pay you. Some of them will say no, wait half the time, try to contact the student if you can via Skype. But then um, not all schools do that. Okay, some schools, they're very generous, I won't lie. Actually, it's not really being generous. If they expect you to pay to, to stay there for like the rest of the lesson or the rest of the class waiting for a student that's not there, they're paying you for your time. Okay, so just remember that time is chelete chankura money. All right, you also need to respect your time and please be consistent. All right, because at the end of the day, you know, if we have if we have a bad rep, you we all represent each other. And right now, ish. I'm not even going to get into it, uh, but um, you will see that, you know, we all represent each other. So if you're really good, babes, please do a really, really good job because you're representing all of us. Okay, um, get used to free conversation and also get used to improvising. Okay, different students, like I said before, be dynamic, learn to pivot, learn to understand. Okay, fine, this student is not understanding this, this student is not understanding this, so how can I better explain this? All right, you get better with time, really. Um, it gets better and better and better. Um, also try to have like separate questions that you can ask a student at the end of the lesson to try and figure out if they actually understood what you were saying. All right, um, consider please, oh my God, this is one mistake that I used to do. Please teach for multiple platforms. Okay, teach for two or three platforms during peak times because when you start, um, you won't get like, you know, you won't be booked. You know, don't expect to be booked. You'll have like two or three classes because they need to suss you out. Like, okay, is this person reliable? Are they good? Are they not good? You know, they need to suss you out. Are they reliable? Are they not reliable? Are they trustworthy? Can we trust them? Um, because at the end of the day, when you're teaching, you're representing the school. Okay, just see yourself as an employer. Okay, even though you're, you work as a freelancer, but see yourself as representing the school and you will need to record yourself like a one minute or two minute video introducing yourself like hello my name is Tohama but you can call me TK uh, you don't need to mention where you come from you can say I have a bachelor's degree in civil engineering you know um, I have been teaching for about three years whatever if you're a teacher tell them that you are a physical teacher in the classroom if you have been maybe if you've been a mentor or a facilitator mention that if you're a public if you're good at public speaking mention that okay treat that um intro video as an interview that you are there to show you know your best skills you're there to show off your best skills and to say that hey listen if you don't have me in your team you're actually missing out all right um customer service at the end of the day you need to get your customer service skills on check because sometimes hey you need to have patience because yeah hey some some comments especially if they if they hear that you're from south Af that you're from south africa yeah hey but you but thing is you have to understand that certain countries they don't really have access to certain information and they honestly don't know about south africa so that's your chance to actually you know advertise our country and tell them how great our country is and how diverse our country is i always do that i i, I cannot wait to tell them all about it but please don't take things personally hey like we are all here to learn you also have some views and ideas of the us or people in spain or people in uh, in asian countries and all of all of that in the middle east but never be rude always try to be polite always try to be calm and say actually i have a good sense of humor i love shame i'm sorry <laughs> like <laughs> i'm always laughing like i'm just like why <laughs> absolutely not you know and that is your chance to actually teach them um better all right so yes your customer service skills they need to be on lock okay you know when you're if you've ever worked in a customer service center you know shame you need to oh you're awesome and just be like thank you man yes it's not being fake it's just that you are literally okay like girl i can't believe you just said that but let me educate you okay this is not how we do things here all right just saying all right um please the best thing about online english teaching is setting your own hours 
that is the one thing that I love. I loved the, the freedom of me just setting my own hours. I used to teach whenever I, when I started working, I used to teach during weekends, strictly during weekends. And I'd teach during the peak times. Um, during weekends, most of the time, um, you can literally teach the whole day. Okay, but avoid back-to-backs. So what I'm talking about back-to-backs is having a class at 10 and having class at 11, especially if it's maybe an hour class. All right, or avoid having three classes in succession. Like, you will burn out. I did that once. I'm not go ever going to do that ever again. I once had six back-to-back -back classes and I literally used to burn out. Literally, my energy will just go, oh, literally. You know, you need to have energy. You need to give them your best. You know, you need to be present and understand that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they are paying for your services. All right. Um, schedule your time well and always be reliable. I mentioned that. Whatever you do, I repeat again, it represents us. Okay, it represents you. So if you start having a bad um, reputation, if you start having a bad reputation uh, with schools, you won't get you won't get employed, Shim. I'm sorry. I'm just going to tell you that. If you have a good reputation, hello, money, money in the bag. Okay, money, money in the bag. Just saying. Um, open your hours during peak hours. Ask the school, okay, uh, what are your peak hours? You will get a company. I'm telling you, if you open your peak hours, just check like South African time versus uh, maybe um, like Asian time or like Chinese time because it's eight hours plus eight hours. If you can just check if they say no, it's, I mean, it's uh, from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., you should know, okay, fine, it's 6 p.m. All right. Um, okay, this is the one disadvantage that I was not really ready for, okay, but because I was, at some point I was working and studying, there are peak times and then there are off peak times, all right, so what I mean by that is there are certain seasons where, you know, they have, oh my god, there's a huge influx and companies will be employing like a lot of people, all right, during that time, but just know that like, uh, during now recently I think today uh, they all returned from um, they all returned back to work oh, the sound is irritating me I'm so sorry um, so now I think they've all returned back to work so um, it was the spring festival it actually started last week it was seven days so um, I'm talking about my Chinese students so I was expecting them for the past seven days I've been having like one two you know classes spring festival it's the lunar new year so obviously you'll expect you know less students but apart from that there's certain seasons like for us um, Thanksgiving Christmas you know all of these holidays they know that some teachers won't be teaching Teaching, but then that will be your opportunity to actually, you know, get other uh, classes and actually teach. So normally you will teach during Christmas because uh, for Chinese students, they don't celebrate Christmas at the time that we do. Okay. Um, I think with Saudi Arabic uh, students, they also have their holidays. So there will be like an off peak season. So also prepare for that. Try to teach as much as you can for during like when there's a huge influx of, of students and so that you know that you're good uh, when there is like an off-peak season. All right, so it's not that steady. Um, the pay does fluctuate. It depends on you, how much you apply yourself, and it also depends on the school and the booking system. Always try to find out what the booking system is if they actually book classes for you. I would recommend for you to teach for a school that has um, that gives you classes. Okay, according to your expertise, and yes, the better you are, if people are like, oh, if you get a good rating, you know, you get more students, and you get more classes, more chankuras. All right, um, bring your A game. Um, it's not about you, Shem. I had to say this. It's not about you. It's about your students. I'm sure that you've seen in, in school, like sometimes our teachers will just come to school, and they'll be tired, but they have to teach us at the end of the day. Treat this like a normal job. <clears throat> like, um, you know, when you're at work, I know you, you can't always be great. I mean, like, oh, yay, 
good job i know that but like try to do your best at all times okay remember tefl certificate um if you are thinking of teaching abroad um you need a good tefl certificate so that means you can get one on daddy's deals if you want to teach online um they do accept the free tefl certificate that i have actually um the link is down below all right payments okay you need a paypal account like that's standard for if you have a paypal account you can teach for a lot of platforms i am going to test a few and i will be sharing them on my channel as well um transcribing all of that you need a paypal account okay trust me you definitely definitely need all right there are also other platforms um such as transferwise uh pioneer i love pioneer because they have less charges um and currency fair those are the ones that i've used and um some schools um or some teaching companies they actually do pay you directly into your account i would suggest you have an fnb account fnb has changed my life shame in terms of uh, charges in terms of you know you you even link your paypal account to your fnb account <gasps> I'm telling you the best the best. All right. So that's it from me um with regards to how to get in. Um but yes, you do need a killer CV if you are a beginner, you need to show them that you know I am good at public speaking. If you ha- if you if your public speaking skills are very good, you need to show them off. Okay, if you don't have any other experience at all. But for now, I would actually love to tell you guys about um when I started teaching online I started uh, with a center and um started teaching via a center so there are different centers such as TRGTC I don't know if Call Force is still around but hey okay but yeah hey, hey Call Force there are a lot of issues with Call Force but yes um just try and, and see oh there's also EF South Africa that's also a good one I think they offer 70 rand an hour so it's actually quite good as a start um you need to study you need to start um via a center so that you can get into it okay um you don't want to be buying all of this equipment without even knowing uh, what you're doing all right or what you're getting yourself into just get comfortable and just ease yourself in okay killer cv tefl certificate um you need a laptop you need headsets as i previously mentioned a mouse you can't be dragging no sorry bye Mm-mm. cannot be doing that it's going to waste a lot of time um all classes are timed okay so you need within that 25 minutes you need to be done hi to 25 turns over oh yes wrapping up even though you're not even supposed to be wrapping up at that time 3 minutes or 2 minutes you're supposed to be wrapping up and just you know reviewing the lesson and just saying all right what do you, what what was difficult things like that you do you you know yourself you know how you can best teach if you can teaching is not that difficult all right i love to say that when i teach i learn every time for me there's certain things that i also did not know but i have been learning along the way All right. Certain things we learned them in grade 5. How do you expect me to remember things from grade 5? Like the schwa sound. Google that. Like but if you didn't know I learned that I think 2 years ago. I learned of that it's called actually a schwa sound. But anyway. Anyway, it's just have an open mind. Be free. please try to be open minded try to understand that yes fine this might be a side gig. You can easily make 3k, 4k a month. who's going to give you that just like that come on guys at home no you know take it seriously uh don't slack please get back up power you guys know about load shedding countries outside do not know anything about load shedding they don't even understand it they think that you you are trying to avoid work and it's not you avoiding work it's just that there is load shedding so please try and get it um there is a really good one on take a lot it's a ups it's about like 1.8 all right and it can last you for like 4 hours so yes 
All right, ladies and gents. So that's it from me today. I hope that this was informative. If you would like to ask me uh, more questions, you can just uh, leave some comments down below. Um, I hope this was as I tried to include as much as possible. Um, but I hope that this was informative and good luck. All right. Kill that intro video. I am telling you, babes. I am telling you. I am telling you. Okay. You will get in. All right. All right, lovelies. Um, so this brings me to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Please share this video with your friends. A lot of people don't know about this. Um, you would think that people know about online gigs and things like that, but a lot of people don't. Please, 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 please share. All right. Some companies, they hire people as little as like as young sorry as young as 18 okay so as long as your english is good as long as you're able to convey information as long as you're able to teach and have a conversation with somebody else oh, you're good to go all right i hope this helped um and i will see you next time on my next video ciao